So last year around this time, I did a video called my winter skin savers. And it was all about products that will kind of save you from chapped skin and tired looking skin and all the lovely things that happen to your skin when it gets colder outside. We have so much um, <laughs> so much experience of that in the UK though because we didn't have a summer so we've kind of been, you know, been preparing for this since about May. But um, I thought I would come on and do another similar video of all my favourite products, the products I would recommend to you for, uh, you know, helping winter skin. So, this is like my second winter skin savers video. First of all, I also just like winter essentials as well. So not all of it's like skincare, but just winter essentials. So first of all, this is absolutely hands down something I think everyone should have. And it is um, an antibacterial hand gel. This one is Cuticura, which is new apparently. You can get this in boots. I think this is about £1.30. Quite expensive for an antibacterial hand gel, but you do get 100 ml so it's quite a lot. And I've been using this a lot. Um, and this kills 99.99% .99 of bacteria fast. It is cucumber and garden mint. And this is why I really, really like this. Because usually with hand sanitizers, you can just smell the alcohol. And it doesn't matter what fragrance or scent they say they are, you can just smell the alcohol. But this is really, really nice. It actually does smell like cucumber and garden mint. It smells really nice. It doesn't smell synthetic at all. Um, really, really nice. Really fresh. Um, soaks into the hands immediately, you don't have any horrible residue. I use this all the time because it is flu season and last year I, was it last year? I think it was last year, yeah I got swine flu so we're not going to run the risk of having that so um, yeah I, I just carry this everywhere with me, I, if I could drink it I would. So antibacterial hand gel for the winter, absolutely. Okay. On to um, hand care, I have a couple of things. Um, first of all, this is brand new, it's a limited edition product, um, I have another one, a uh, different type of product to talk to you about in a minute, but this is a limited edition product from L'Occitane, um, I love their stuff, absolutely love their stuff, uh, their lemon verbena range is gorgeous. Um, but this is the Date Bouquet uh, and Shea Butter Hand Cream. Um, and this is beautiful. It has 20% shea butter in it. It's 30 ml. I think this is about eight pounds. I'll put the information down below um, about how much it is. But it is limited edition, and I love the way their hand creams look. They come with these beautiful little metallic um, tubes. This is really, really nice. Um, it it sinks into the skin like completely, but it's really nourishing. I put this on this morning on my hands just a little bit, and it just. I don't know, my hands still feel really smooth and I'm one of those people that just is terrible. I don't use hand cream like I should. So um, I think a little kind of size like this that you can put in your purse rather than a big size is fantastic for people like me because I just forget. But this one is the Date Bouquet. They also do um, a mango butter and they also do a rose scented one but I think this is my favourite. This is beautiful. So this is L'Occitane hand cream. Another hand cream. Oh, that breath. Um, is <clears throat> by Neon and it's their Luxury Organics Complete Bliss Moroccan Blush Rose Organic Hand Cream and this is so nice. I would recommend this to everyone. Um, so it's Complete Bliss is the unmistakably beautiful scent Moroccan Blush Rose modernised with a hint of lime and black pepper. I really like this. I like to use this at night. It's quite thick but it's not greasy so it, it just sinks in really nicely but I do like to slap this on at night when I remember. But I think this is really really nice but you see like the size difference. So I think probably this for like night time and this to carry around during the day. So those are my two favourite hand creams for this time of year. I think those are really, really nice. Um, on to uh, lip care, I have a couple of things. This is also part of the new limited edition L'Occitane uh, Shea Butter range. It's fantastic. Uh, I'll link it down below if I can. Um, I always forget these things. But um, the, the, they also do a body cream as well. So yeah, I'd really like to try that. But this is um, the Mango Flower Lip Balm, 10% Shea Butter. Looks like this. This is really strange. I expected it to be kind of like glossy, like a lot of lip balms are, but this one is actually really quite thick. It's clear, so you don't need to worry about that. It's really thick and moisturising, and it leaves this really nice kind of um, plump look to the lips. I don't know how it does it, but it's super moisturising, and I've been applying this like all day. Um, you don't need to, but I have, because the, the scent is lovely. It tastes really nice. Um, so that's the Mango Flower Lip Balm. They also do a date. Lip, uh, date bouquet lip balm as well, but that's the mango flower one. If you have really chapped or sore lips, I would definitely recommend this because it does have shea butter in it, so it's perfect for that. 
And then another lip product um, is the Figs and Rouge 100% uh, Organic Balm in Rambling Rose. You can use this on your face and your body too. It looks like this. You can get this in boots. And I love this. You can see I've used quite a lot of it. I really, really like this. I use it on dry patches of my skin as well, uh, but it is for the lips and it's super moisturising. I, I would recommend using this at night uh, rather than during the day if you wear lip products during the day. So I just kind of slob this on at night. It's gorgeous. So those are the two lip products for winter I'd recommend. On to some kind of like face, well, yeah, on some kind of like face cream stuff. Uh, first of all, I mentioned this in my in my favourites. I'm not sure if my favourites are up yet, but I have mentioned it in my favourites. It's the Mon Nu uh, Calming Cream. And this is a green tinted cream. This is perfect for people who suffer from redness in their skin or uh, are suffering from dryness or anything like that because it neutralises the redness and it is really, really quite moisturising. Um, I had problems areas just here on my skin that were getting really red and looked quite angry and I popped this on overnight and they went. It was like magic. So um, this has, let me see, horse chestnut, yarrow, rhubarb, arnica, uh, and UVA and UVB sunscreens in it. Goodness me. And it also has lavender in it. But the thing I think that makes this work is the horse chestnut and the arnica because those are really good for um, sorting skin problems out. So um, this is a little one that came in glossy box. You can get full size ones from Mon U online. But yeah, definitely for redness. For eye care, um, I really, really like this. This is the Laid Bare uh, Pack Your Bags Lighten and Tighten Eye Cream with Buckwheat Wax and Eye Bright Extract. Um, it's anti-aging as well. I really, really like this. I, I put this on and I get up in the morning before I put my makeup on and it's absolutely, it absolutely really does make you look, I don't, I don't know how it does it, it just like tightens the under eye area and kind of makes it look a little bit brighter. And with really dark mornings and really cold mornings, I think everyone should probably have this. So that's my laid bare, so that's a really nice eye cream for the morning, I really like that. If you suffer from really dry skin in the winter, I kind of suffer from kind of dry patches in the winter. Um, I don't have, I do have combination skin, but my skin tends to be more kind of oily than it does dry. But in the winter, like everybody, we all suffer from like a bit of dry skin. So if you're kind of tired of like trying to blend a foundation over dry skin or dry patches, I would recommend the Dr. Jart Waterfuse BB Cream. This is really, really nice. It's really moisturising. This has actually got a water locking technology in it, so um, it kind of moisturises your skin throughout the day. Um, I, you don't need an extra moisturiser underneath this if you don't want to, but it's super moisturising. Um, it's about £18, but these little babies last forever. So if you're tired of trying to blend foundation <laughs> over dry skin, whoops, I'm throw it on the floor, then um, I would definitely recommend the Waterfuse one. That's really, really good for people dry skin. And, and that's a, a sun protector, um, you know, your moisturiser and a foundation all in one. So I like that. Um, I've been using this at night. Um, I've also got a little bit on today. I can use this under my foundation as well. This is the Organic Surge Blissful Daily Moisturiser for Normal Skin. Um, it's got rosemary and lemon essential oils in it. It looks like this. Nice kind of thick cream, but not too thick that you can't wear it under your foundation. I really like this. This is a good multi-purpose all-rounder because you can use it during the day under your makeup. And I've got combination skin, so if I can use it, you can use it too. It doesn't make my makeup slip or slide or anything. And then you can really whack some on um, uh, like kind of overdose your skin on it for night time and it's super soft, it's beautiful. So that's the Blissful Daily Moisturiser. So that's kind of a good investment if you just want one cream, you know, rather than a day cream and a night cream. As for a toner, I have lots of toners, but I do find that toners generally kind of strip your um, skin of moisture because they do have like a lot of alcohol content in them. This one doesn't though. This is the Lulu and Boo Lavender and Lemon Toner. Lemon. Lavender and Lemon Toner. Um, it's 99.6% organic. Uh, this is for problem and oily skin, uh, but it, ha it has witch hazel and aloe vera in it. The reason I like this is I don't have problem skin, but the reason I like this is it leaves a really nice kind of soft film on the skin. I only use this at night because it is quite, um, it's quite oil based. And I really, really like this because it's, it feels like it's feeding your skin as well as kind of wiping away, away residue. So if you have problems with kind of your skin feeling a bit tight after you take your makeup off, this is a really good toner and it's really moisturising as well. So I think that would be perfect for people that suffer from kind of dry skin or dry patches once again. So that's by Lulu and Boo. Um, as for body things, I have two of those. 
The Naom um, Inspiration Violet Cadmium Cedarwood Body Cream. This is my favourite body cream. I love this. It smells really nice. It's not floral at all. It's just a really nice kind of rich scent, perfect for this time of year. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. And um, the it has um, acacia extract in it and cocoa bean as well and rosehip oil. Um, and almond oil and avocado oil. So full of fatty acids, which are really good for your skin this time of year. A little bit goes a really long way. I had mine for a while and um, still got a load of it. If you don't like floral scents, this is perfect for you. If you don't like things that are too scented, this is perfect for you, but it does have a really nice kind of rich scent to it. It lingers all day. So that's uh, the body cream I really like. For a nice all-rounder, um, this, if you prefer an oil, this is the LMS Frangipani Mono and Body Oil from the Body Exotics range. You can use it on your hair and your nails and your body. I've talked about this a couple of times. This is a gem. It's absolutely fantastic. If you've got chapped um, hands, uh, you know, chapped cuticles, if the ends of your hair are kind of look a little bit frizzy, um, this is fantastic. You can use this on your feet as well for a treatment. This is just, a, I would recommend this to everyone because you can use this on for so many different things. So that's by LMS. And then the last two products are kind of bath things. Um, this is the Naom Tranquility English Lavender Sweet Basil and Jasmine Organic Bath Foam. This doesn't have anything nasty in it, but it still foams. It doesn't have sodium lauryl sulfates um, in it. It just foams naturally, and I don't know how they do it, but it does. This is gorgeous. So this is really, really quite... Um, Moisturising, it's very luxurious. Um, I think it's really nice. It's twenty pounds. This and it has a uh, coconut, sweet almond, aloe leaf, and marshmallow in it, and of course the other things that I mentioned. And it's not too once again, it's not too floral. So if you're looking for a really nice bath, um, bath foam for this time of year, I would definitely recommend this because it's really moisturising. And then the last bath product I have, the last product I have to show you, is again by Elemis, and this is the Aching Muscle Super Soak. It's um, body from their body performance range. This stuff is amazing. If you come home like from work, um, you know, and it, you know you're just like fed up or something, and, and your feet hurt, and just like honestly, you should get this if you work really long days, um, because this is so nice. It's it's really, really strong scented, so if you don't like strong scents, then maybe you wouldn't like this. But it has um, alpine lavender, birch, juniper, clove, wild thyme, blue chamomile, and sea salt in it, and this is wonderful. This is, a, as it says, a muscle soak. So I'd recommend this for people that are kind of like hard on their feet, or walk a long way, or uh, you know, just, just, I don't know, anybody that works really hard would really like this, so it's really nice. So, those are my winter skin savers and my winter essentials for 2012. As I said, I did one last year. I'll link it down below in case you want to see that. So I hope that was helpful for you guys. If you've got any questions about the products, leave me a comment and I will try and uh, answer the questions for you. So I hope you're having a wonderful day and I'll see you all very, very soon. Bye, everyone.